So, oh, welcome to Analog Adventures. Welcome to another episode of Analog Adventures. Today, <laughs> today we're drinking coffee, not wine. Today's flavor of wine is coffee. Because it's 8 a.m., 9 a.m. It doesn't really stop you from drinking beer. Why can't I drink wine? Because it's Memorial Day and we have a chicken who it's is, Day. it's Labor Day. Today we're dealing with a chicken who is acting up. And we have a chicken who is acting up. This is the first time we've had an issue with our chicken, so you're gonna watch us stumble through trying to break her of her Broodiness. Broodiness. She wants to sit. She wants to hatch some eggs. She wants to hatch some eggs. But, but we don't have a rooster, so yeah. she'll sit forever. So we're going to go check on her right now. Stephanie gave her enough time to lay an egg if she's laying an egg. And if not, then we got to we gotta break her like a wild horse. There's the rest of them right over there. Which chicken is this? She's Dottie. She's the, you called her the producer last time. She's not producing nothing right now. You hear that? That means she wants us to go away because she doesn't want to be moved because she thinks she's hatching eggs. And she will be very mean if I stick my hand in there, which is unusual, like this. Come on, come on. See that little tail? Come on. You got nothing under there. Please leave. This is the lady. She wants to be a mom, but she's gonna be waiting a long time. <laughs> so we're gonna let her air out. So what we're gonna try first, a little controversial. We're gonna put her in cool water, not cold water, not ice water. And it's gonna be a really warm day, so it should be fine. Um, to cool off her breast area, which is what she would use to incubate eggs, to make them hot, to try to snap her out of it. Some people don't like that. I don't think dunking a chicken in water is that mean, because the second thing is we are going to isolate her in like a chicken jail, wire bottom cage, lots of ventilation, away from nesting boxes, no bedding material, so that she kind of has to stop it. I think that's more mean but we'll do that as a last resort. So we'll try the water first. I'm gonna carry her around for a little bit also to see if I can annoy her enough to stop. But she's pretty young to do this, so maybe it will be easy or it's gonna be really hard. Oh, wow. Get out. she's back and she's not happy stop it's water time for you that's the third time this morning it is the third time she's mad what do we have here it's cool water. Let's see if it works. And what's the theory? That it cools down uh, her temperature, which is what may contribute to her thinking that she needs to sit on some eggs. Some people don't buy it. We're gonna try it. Get her in there. So you just want to make sure she gets her chest. Where her, where her chest. her that tight actually. I'm making sure she doesn't flap. Well this is where the sun comes nothing better than a wet hen. Mm. So we're gonna also use this as a bath time for our booty. Which is something you should be doing with your chickens anywhere. 
Alright. Minor miscalculation. So I have to dry her off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you plan on bathing your chicken, don't send her off into a dirt patch right afterwards. <laughs> What do you think, Henrietta? You want to be next? Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God! I'm fine. I'm in the action. Splash them. No. This guy is... What a guy, huh? Well, if you ha plan on getting chickens and you have a border collie, you don't have to worry about them. This dog will not kill chickens. So, it is hot. We gave her, our broody hen, a cool bath. We dunked her twice for about a minute. Um, got her chest area nice and wet and cooled down. We had to get her out of the nesting box, I think two or three more times, but now it's been a few hours and our broody naughty girl is the one walking away because I've been messing with her all day. But as you can see, she's not in there. It might have worked. <laughs> Our tactics, our cool water plunge, our spa day plunge bath worked. So far. So far. So far is the key word. But it's two. She's been out for a few hours and we'll keep bugging her. Henrietta just came to, to tell us that the uh, dolly's doing okay. Or dolly. 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 Henrietta just wanted to say that Dottie's doing okay. Thanks, thanks Henrietta. Thanks for checking on us. We'll come give you some treats in a little bit. Don't, yeah, don't poop there. <laughs> well, this concludes another riveting analog adventures. We're ending the day with a Gruner Vetlinger. Nobody really knows how to say that. It's from Austria, it's a white wine and this is uh, Real high roller at Trader Joe's for about $5. I would recommend it with chicken or fish. I don't eat either of those. <laughs> this wine is dry and tart. It's good for a hot day. So ice bath 
challenge chicken version seem to work. There she is. And after we dunked her, I think she went back twice and we just pushed her out of the nesting box. And since then she has been acting normal. So she hasn't gone back. Seems like she's not broody anymore. She's not being aggressive. I think the cool water worked because she's young and we caught it early. I'm not sure it would work if you had a, a very, very broody hen who really wanted to hatch some eggs. I think she uh, got the urge and it passed quickly. So I would recommend the water bucket. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Analog Adventures. Good night, chickens. <laughs>